Hey everyone, are you looking to purchase your first investment property or maybe just your first property that you're going to live in? Well, one of the things that you need to be aware of are those properties that are quickly fixed and flipped as they can have some issues with them. I'm going to quickly go over an article that I recently read called I bought a flipped house. Here's what I wish my home inspector noticed beforehand. This can give you some really great knowledge as to what issues there could be and how to select the right inspector for them. My name is Ariel Herrera with the Analytics Ariel channel where we bridge the gap between real estate and technology. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel to get the latest content in tech and real estate as well. Like this content if you want to see some more of my reviews and articles that I've read. All right, let's get started. I stumbled upon this article a couple of weeks ago and it really spoke to me. So I am going to be going over my four properties that I currently own, some that are rentals. And the first one was actually a flip that we noticed many issues with down the line. Now the person in this article goes over their experience of being under contract for a flipped home and some of the issues that came with it. So they speak about here that the company that owned their home before they bought it was a development firm that was known for purchasing properties in really bad shape, updating them with some nice appliances, new paint, and then getting some profit at the end. These development firms do this because they can actually make a lot of money even with all the extreme costs like HVAC systems, new roof, and so on. So this author sees this property and they think, wow, like the roof and AC are brand new. Everything is upgraded. We don't have to do a single thing. Then they hire a home inspector as you should in due diligence phase in order to assess what the quality of the work was. In this case, it looks like everything seemed good when they moved in and they started in the basement where the bathroom was remodeled. It seems like the plumbing was not done correctly. And then once rain came in, then they realized the gutters were installed wrong and the water was pooling into the home's foundation. I also had issues that once it rained, noticed that the gutters were legit, just how the water was going straight into the foundation, which was really bad. So luckily I had someone within my network who does plumbing and was able to set up the way that the water could be drained in front of the house. It looks like they get an electrician next to let them know why their light switch has suddenly stopped working and the new fuses in their box was not tightened all the way. They get an HVAC tech to come out and they even say that the size and type of the unit are incorrect. Luckily that didn't happen to me. I did have an issue where the sink was getting really full, so it wasn't actually draining. And that was also a plumbing issue that I did have the person in my network help me with. But this is an ideal if you're trying to move into a brand new property, quote unquote, where you don't have to do any fixes. The author finishes here saying that they ended up shelling out thousands of dollars after discovering that they wouldn't need to pay a dime if the company who did the flip had ever bothered to fill out the warranty paperwork. Because it seems like the warranty paperwork was not done, the HVAC failed them, and they had to pay for it. And that really sucks because especially if you're looking to buy your first property and probably don't have that much cash on you, you get the property, you spend a lot on a down payment, and then now you have all these surprise fixes down the line that can be really scary. And if you have a tenant that goes inside of it, and maybe the tenant is not telling you about these issues, you're having your house deteriorate without ever knowing about it. So the overall goal here that the author says at the end is to make sure that you actually try to find home inspectors that have a good understanding of dealing with flips. For my first property, I found my home inspector by asking a friend who recently bought her first property. And unfortunately, since the area, the zip codes, weren't close enough. I wasn't able to use her person. So I got a referral from them and I just went with that inspector. And while he was good, there were some things missed. And looking back, I probably would have taken the approach of Googling some inspectors, using Yelp, maybe calling 
three or so, and then actually selecting one that had experience with inspecting flips. I hope that the pains of this article, as well as a little tidbit into my story, will help you when deciding on an inspector for a fix and flip property if you see yourself ever purchasing one. And if you've had any stories on tips and tricks or some things to look out for, then please leave that in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks.